الاعتناب ببعض القصعين والزعتر اتريد الذهاب لرؤية المهول لاحقا Hello and welcome to Lord Fenton Gaming Reviews Assassin's Creed Mirage. I am your reviewer, Lord Fenton. In this review of Assassin's Creed Mirage, we're going to go over everything. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more reviews like this. Do not forget to hit the notification bell so be updated and more. In this review, we're going to go over the graphics, the gameplay, the story, sound and music, pickpocking uh, QTEs, that's what they call it, I guess, these days, and of course, stealth. So let's go ahead and go over the good, the bad, and the okay. Now let's uh, do talk about the graphics. That's the first thing I want to definitely talk about. They look very good. Now I'm playing in uh, 60 frame rate mode for the PlayStation 5 version. A little bit knocked out on the uh, looks. However, even with the 60 frame rate, it looks very good. I can afford to lose some extra graphics for the uh, frame rate. And yeah, the detail is really nice from the character to the palm trees to the castle wall and uh, more. So de the developers did a wonderful job of the uh, graphics department. As far as the gameplay, it kept mostly with the tradition of the other Assassin's Creed games, even a few of the older ones too. Eagle Vision, you get to use to see who's friendly, who's not. Also, you get to check out who your pickpocketing targets are. Which is uh, very good. You can still climb things. You could get into trouble. You could use your toolkit real quick. And uh, other things uh, too. I mean, it's a uh, wonderful gameplay. I'm, I'm glad they kept it mostly the same. As for the UI, yeah, for this part is real crisp and real uh, clear. This way you get to uh, see out there very easily. Your radar's on top. On the left side, of course, is your uh, ammunition you're using. And also, uh, somewhere on there is your uh, notoriety. Yes, they have notoriety in the game. More on that when I get to the stealth part. You can switch real quick. You can hot bar, I should say, uh, quick use certain tools. And the uh, menu UI is very crisp and uh, clean also. Game has 20 save slots. That's more than playing for uh, this game. It still has the same thing like inventory tools, codex skills, and investigation. That's its own section. So the UI is very good in this uh, game. Next up the bat, I like to praise about Assassin's Creed Mirage is, you guessed it, the sound and music. Yep, yeah, that's right, everyone. You can hear the uh, blade crash and more, so let's listen in. Hey. Damn you! <laughs> let's uh, go ahead and uh, say this now. They did a great job in the sound and music department. Now, music is very good. I tested it out. However, uh, the problem with that, there, it's copyright. So I'll explain about that more uh, later on. Still, you can hear smoke bombs. You can hear people talking. When you even eavesdrop, you can hear the whispers too, which is a good thing. So, yeah, the sound music, uh, I would say, they did a wonderful job as always for Assassin's Creed game. Let's talk about the world of Assassin's Creed Mirage, which is ancient Baghdad. Oh man, I love this region. Very good region, I should say, for the most part. With exception, the wilderness can be a little bit sparse since it is the uh, desert, but still, the city part is bustling, it's alive, it's great. They uh, kept it to its uh, realness. They didn't like skimp on anything. Unlike some games like in the uh, 80s and 90s, but still, you could go ahead, go shopping, you use your tokens. Yeah, tokens is uh, one of the currencies in the game. You can use the uh, Bad Dad's currency too if you uh, have it. Still, the uh, World of Assassin's Creed Mirage, I absolutely did enjoy it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just be blunt about it. They did not waste any time to keep it real. Even the voice actors and actresses kept it real big time. I'm going to go ahead and, uh, of course, uh, get, let you all listen on a uh, line. So here we go. We should only hope. There's still much work to do. While our focus was on Al Ghul, Fulav quietly scouted the city for where we could erect more bureaus. I have found the head of the Hidden Ones. I love her uh, as always. I loved her in Renfield when she's the uh, head mobster of the New Orleans Mafia in that uh, movie. I even like Vasm's voice, the young version, which is uh, great. So the voice acting department. Wonderful job, I will definitely say. 
I'm going to go ahead and uh, say this now, everyone. I love the assassinations in this game. It's back to basics, more on stealth later on, but still, assassinations like this is wonderful. Like, for example, our friend here, Al Ghul, yeah, the same one I made the, I should say, the short on. Yeah, it was well worth seeing, I would definitely say. Most assassinations were uh, very good in the uh, game. My only disappointment was the uh, Warlord, but still... They did a wonderful job of the assassinations in the game. It's not like uh, the previous one you just kill someone and you don't see much of a cutscene like uh, that. They still kept the same tradition of the uh, where they're talking, to, of course, to the uh, target you just assassinated like this. So you're asking, Fenton, what about the collectibles in this game? Are the collectibles like paying the button like in the last game we have to get a bunch of them? Or is it like 100 plus flags? None of that. I'm going to be uh, blunt. Most of them are easy to get except for three wilderness chests, which requires the uh, certain uh, collectible from all the other regions. One of the gear chests in the uh, Kark region. And of course in the last region, one of the lost books. And yeah, let me tell you, these uh, collectibles are really good to get. Some of the rewards are very nice too. You get some nice uh, weapons and of course uh, knives. And you also get some outfits too. Now, uh, if you get a uh, certain item, all of it, yeah, you get three chests. One of them has a nice piece of armor that looks really cool. I'll just give you a hint. Besides, my character was wearing it. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, Kyle Ren just visited this game. That's all I'm going to uh, definitely uh, say. So, yep, the collectibles are really worth uh, getting this game. Really easy for the most part and really simple. All right, everyone. I'm going to be very blunt on uh, this. I am so glad the investigations like this are back big time. You get to uh, figure out who your main target is beforehand. You get to figure out who's helping out your uh, main target. Once you find out who your target is, you get a chance to go after that target. And when you're done, the target's red. That means you assassinate him. Just like the older Assassin's Creed games, which I do absolutely love. And Assassin's Creed Mirage gives you that reminder of the older games. So you're asking another uh, question. Hey, Fenton. What about the trophies slash achievements in this game? I'm going to be honest, with exception of one, that's missable. The rest of them are not. You can get them all in post-game that are not missable at all. Some are a story that pops up automatically. Even some of you definitely get along the uh, way. Now, the uh, platinum, I should say, or 100% or 1,000 points is so easy, even a caveman can do it. Even the missable, once you get the blow darts, is very simple to get. So, yeah. Assassin's Creed Mirage trophy slash achievements for the most part are stress free and I like that big time. Here is the very best part I love about this uh, game. You uh, guessed it. Stealth. It is back. The uh, other Assassin's Creed, the last three, Origins, Odyssey, and then uh, Valhalla. Yeah, they're slowly going into the combat thing instead of the uh, stealth phase. And let me tell you, yeah, the game was starting to lose uh, its identity. Well, guess what? It is back, and uh, many missions requires you to be very stealthy. If you're not stealthy, yeah, you're going to have a little bit of a hard time with this game. Yeah, for example, you can hide from foes. They could be looking for you. You can ambush them. You can set traps for them. You can use smoke bombs. Yeah, that's back, too. Even the assassination targets require stealth, too, in order to succeed the very best way possible. So, yes, yeah, stealth is back. And I am so glad. Hopefully they do more Assassin's Creed like this in the very future. Especially with stealth, everyone. It is now time to talk about the story of Assassin's Creed Mirage. Think of it as the Army of the Dead that's on Netflix. Sorry, Zack Snyder fans. I have to dog the movie on the middle part. But anyways, start part of that movie was uh, great. Middle part, it sucked. End part, towards the end, I should say, last 10, 15 minutes, great. That's what Assassin's Creed Mirage is exactly on the uh, pacing part. Start part's good until, of course, after your first target. And then, of course, the middle part was like, meh. And then at, when you got to your final target and the end of the game, that was great. That was the story. It was all right. It was not like the perfect Assassin's Creed story, but still, it's a story, at least, for the uh, game. Let's do talk about combat. It's okay at best. I mean, it's like uh, you could hit like heavy and uh, light attacks. You could use a uh, parry to uh, counter your foes. And if you do it right, you could do a one hit kill, which is uh, nice too. Amnes will uh, sometimes run to the bell. 
if they can. A uh, new type of enemies in the game that has horns. If you don't stop them from blowing their said horn, they'll call enemies uh, too. Now, the best part of combat, I'm going to go ahead and say this now, is the assassin focus. That's very good. So, if you have, like, first have all five bars filled, you get to uh, target five targets to instantly assassinate, which I absolutely do love. But still, combat reminds me from uh, Valhalla. And, yeah, that was the game's focus was mainly on uh, that. Now, let's do talk about the world size. Now, uh, if I heard right, Assassin's Creed Mirage was about to be a DLC, most likely a final one for Assassin's Creed Valhalla, so that's why the world felt like it's in a DLC size. Yeah, the wilderness is mostly a big empty. That's one of the regions. The city part is full of bustling people. You have plenty of collectibles and stuff in it. But still, it's much more uh, smaller than the other Assassin's Creed games. I'll probably say it's like up there with uh, Rogue, but I think Rogue still has advantage on this size. So, the size of it was alright, but I wish it was a little bit bigger and more for me to explore. Now, as far as the uh, controls, they're alright at uh, best, they're average. Now, a bad part of the controls is, uh, it's like for example, Assassin Focus, so sometimes it takes uh, one or two hits of the button to uh, get that uh, focus on the uh, target. Now, a good part is they still they have one uh, button uh, solutions, like for example, pickpocketing if you select that, and one button assassination, just like the older games. So yeah, uh, controls can be a little bit uh, iffy at times, and then when it works your way, it's uh, pretty uh, good. I'm going to go ahead and say this about the ending. No, I'm not going to show the ending at all. No, that's out through a window for this review. The ending was alright, so if you play Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you know what you're definitely getting into. If you're new, you will definitely be surprised. At best, it was uh, very average. It was not that great. It was not that bad either. It was stuck in the middle of the uh, road. It's not like the other Assassin's Creed games where they give you a, a letdown. This game was more like a uh, origin story about Basm. So, I should say this uh, right now. What's wrong with this picture? I mean, what's missing with this picture? Copyrighted music section. Usually when they tell you you want to turn off copyright music and there's an option of it, yeah, you should be able to push it. So this way you don't get in trouble with, like, for example, YouTube, Twitch, Kick, and Sarah. Unfortunately, this fucking game doesn't have it at all. I am heavily disappointed in it. So what happens if you're playing this game with your friends, you want to show it off with the music and all, assassination, stealth is back. All of a sudden you get a fucking uh, copyright strike. You know what, that fucking sucks. That option should be in every game, including this one. I did enjoy having fun with the game. I had a great time. However, when I played through the entire game from start to finish, it felt like it's a fucking DLC, unfortunately. I mean, the story was alright, stealth is back, stealth is king, unfortunately, like I said before, yeah, the length of the game, it all feels like it's a part of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I think it was, then they made its own standalone game. I kind of wish uh, they would have made it a little bit longer, do a little bit more things, however, it is what it is. So you're asking Fenton, how long is this game? Well, if you decide to play it night and day, three to four days without doing any collectibles. With the collectibles, tag about another two days on, about a week or so. Now, YouTube will probably be about two weeks, but still, the length of the game, it's a short-ass game. Seriously, it is that short. Most likely, I'll probably say uh, it might be one of the shortest standalone SAS screen games ever. Which, I'm disappointed, I mean, there's so much good things in it. Instead, the length of the game doesn't match the uh, goodness. So, some genius out there in the developer team decides to say, you know what, there's pickpocket. Let's not do a one-button push as a default, or uh, let's not do it like they did the old Assassin's Creed games where you hold down the button low-profile mode and go pickpocketing. No, that's a bad idea. Guess what? QTE and pickpocket, that's a terrible fucking idea. I mean, come on. I probably got the idea that from that from The Witcher 2, where in some instances it was like QTE events and the fans shit on it. Believe me, man, if many of fans shit on the pickpocketing QTE. Instead, many of us decide to go back to the old style of Assassin's Creed 2. It's one button, that's it. I am fucking disappointed with this decision of making QTE the default. Now, I'm going to go ahead and bitch about this the uh, most, the uh, game engine. 
Yeah, the game engine is starting to get old as dirt, folks. Ever since from 2017, Sasuke Origin. Yeah, of course, they tweak a little with Odyssey and the combat feel Valhalla. I'm glad Stealth's in the game. Stealth is king, by the way, for the Sasuke Creed series. But God fucking damn it, this engine is really old. starting to be ancient at this point. I would accept that the game being fucking delayed, of course, to change the engine to something new. However, uh, yeah, you can see it out there with the jumping, the combat, climbing, even some of the uh, stealth attacks too. Yeah, most disappointment in this uh, game is the game engine. What's the final verdict of Assassin's Creed Mirage? Buy it at 10% off with a score of 8 out of 10. Despite some of the game's flaws in it, it's a very fun game. It's also going back to ways of the stealth. Which is uh, great. I mean, the older Assassin's Creed's worked with stealth, so did this game. All it needs to do is go back to stealth in the future games, and it'll also gain complete trust of the people that it lost. It's a wonderful game to uh, play if you're new to the series, if you're returning to the series. Yeah, it's also uh, good to uh, play too, since some of the good things from the older Assassin's Creed games are back and more. This is it from my review of Sass Creed Mirage. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Thank you for watching and have a great day or night. Do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more Sass Creed content like this. If you like what you see, pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left hand corner. Have a great day or night and do enjoy the view.